Hello, people of the world of internet. Welcome to another nonsense fest. Today, I'm getting back to work on my 2002 Ford Focus SVT WRC replica. Please don't fall. What? I'm not gonna have an employer if you fall. This is the slowest lift. So in the last video, I got a taste of fabricating and I'm kind of addicted now, which is a good thing because I got a lot to do. This right here, this nipple, is what aligns the bumper to the front of the car. All right. Oh, jeez. Yeah, this is gonna be a two-person job. I think this thing is made out of Kevlar. So that gap right between the front bumper cover and the frame stub is important. Oh, that was my foot. This will just hold it still for now. Aha. This is gonna be really confusing, but I promise you it'll all make sense in a second. Uh, yep. Good enough-ish. Okay. Lined up perfectly. Lined up perfectly. Inch and five-eighths gap on the driver's side. Inch and three-eighths gap on the passenger side. I'm gonna have to bridge the gap. Quarter. Twelve and a quarter. Twelve and a quarter. Okay, that's the same. It looks happy. Okay. This side matched up, at least. Is this starting to make sense now? Template. Ah, this part's gonna be fun. Marker. Okay. Uh, this is a stupid shape. These little ears on the side are just gonna make useless extra work. So, yeah. Simple. Simple. That's what I need to keep it. Simple. Cut this bullshit off. Version 2.0. Yeah. Yeah. Crafts, arts and crafts. Ta-da! Cardboard fabrication. I'm going to see the fabricators. I have gifts of cardboard. I tried my best to make shapes nice. Got shapes and measurements. You kind of see what I'm doing here? So this is some of the stuff that they make and sell to customers. They make barbecue grills, but they also make these little tiny camp stoves too, that are like, uh, you assemble it and disassemble it yourself, so it's portable. So it's like an erector set exactly. stove. That yeah. looks like a dinosaur. Yeah, it's like a jet stove. So this, you drop your wood in here, yeah. and that angle makes it self-feeding. Really hot and all your heat comes out here and you can put pots and everything on it. Oh, that's awesome. Just by burning wood. So this is like one of their finished Grills, they have their little logo on there. It's powder coated, isn't it? Mm -hmm. This is like rush, this is better than restaurant quality. This is crazy. That is so rad. See the gas burner down in there on the one side, but it's also wood on the other. So if you guys are looking to get a custom barbecue grill made, I'll put their contact in the link below. Meanwhile, over here in food cake country. Yep. Assembly time. I have an apron and it's not for cooking. This is sweet. This looks like the motorcycle pants. What are they called? Uh, uh, chaps. Chaps. Well, those are for horses, unless your horse has an engine. Then it's a horse cycle. The only way I can screw this up is if I weld the plate to the wrong side because this height matters. This has to be an inch and a half. So I got a little tack on there. Now I need to repeat this a billion times. Uh, that guy over there, I guess, ish. Okay. That's pretty good so far. Please keep in mind, I am an aerospace technician by trade. I never went to school for welding or metal fabricating. So this is beginner stuff. Just lightly place this top plate down inside the sides so I could get an idea for the shape and put a tiny little bead right there and then another one down here on the ends. That way the sides don't start to move around as I start welding the insides. So now I should be able to lift this plate out. 
and it should keep its shape. so much better than my first one. I'm starting to figure this shit out. I think I got it down pat. I started off right here and I already had a couple tacks in the middle there, but I started laying down beads and I noticed like the first couple attempts, I was too far onto the side or I was too far down onto the bottom. So it wasn't really connecting. The top up here, I couldn't see my puddle from the angle I was standing. So it looks terrible, which is the point where I started realizing how critical it is to be able to watch your puddle. So then I moved on to this side and I started going up and down to make sure I cover both the side and the bottom, but I was going too fast. So I stopped at the tack and I started going slower right here, up to down, up to down, making little crescent moons. And I got the speed down just right, right there. And then I started going too fast at the end because I wanted to put earplugs in. This is actually a lot louder than I thought it was when we were doing a long continuous speed. Why do they make earplugs look edible? Like they look like marshmallow peeps. I got major coconut head going on right now. This side came out way, way better. I started getting my little crescent moons nice and clean, and I feel that was probably the best weld I've done yet. I'm not entirely sure what just happened. You can see here is my finished result. It's um, it's it's better than a lot of my previous welds, but I ran into an issue right here. It started like splattering and getting little pinholes, which is weird because I cleaned the surface first. Uh, I think we might have been running low on gas too. Oh really? Yeah, these look really good. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, Ta-da! We solved the problem. <laughs> this thing is so huge on your little welding cart. Oh, it's too big. That's fish. That's not what she said. I'm sorry. Oh no way! <laughs> it's your no, little no, cake. <laughs> no, oh, I'm going home now. I know what these look like. The one chip challenge box that the chip comes in. That's what it looks like. What's the verdict? Uh, verdict is out of luck. There we go. Putting these little blobs underneath it because that keeps me from burning my table. Just like that. I think we're out of gas completely. So, uh, major problem. We ran out of gas. No gas, no gas. Grind time. Goodbye, Wells. Goodbye. It was nice seeing you. Uh... I gave them some sausage, some rice, and a poblano pepper earlier, and they ate it. So now I just gave them a whole strawberry. And they're trying to leverage a zip tie for some reason to get it down into their hole. It's the third day in this video, and I have a question for you guys watching right now. The last video on the Focus, where I fabricated the radiator core support, did not do well at all. Not that it really matters, because I don't do videos for views, but if you guys aren't interested, in something I'm making content on, and then obviously that's a problem because I make these videos for you, not for me. 33 and three quarter. So give me your feedback in the comments below on your thoughts on this project. Maybe it was just that video, but this fabricating stuff is hard to make interesting. I'm trying my best. That's like that that movie, something third and a third, 30, naked gun, I don't, I don't remember. Marker. Oh, balancing act. 
33 and a third. Okay. I have an irrational phobia of saws with circular blades. Don't ask why, I'm just terrified of them. Oh, I don't like this. I really don't like this. Ah, it kicks a lot! If you're wondering where I'm getting the idea for the design of this from, I'm totally copying the actual WRC car because I have no idea other than just copying a picture of what the hell I'm doing. So well, I'm gonna have to bend the upper half of this plate. This right here is bent, like the whole top of it is tacoed in. Tacos are more delicious than this. So I need to try to unfuck that. Oh shit! How do I do this? Out. I mean, that's pretty straight now. The center is. Uh, make a hole right there. There's enough of a gap right here between this portion and this flat plate that even the head of the bolt should be able to clear in there. Down here kind of sucks because there's already a hole right here, so I have to offset. That's good. How far up it needs to be. Yeah, we should have enough clearance. Because this, we don't have to worry about the bottom depth. In order to attach these to the front of the car, they need to be bolted. The only way to bolt these and make the bolt heads not stick out and interfere with the bumper is to weld a tube on the inside of it. That's what they had on the actual WRC car. Problem is, I have to use a big enough diameter tube to not only clear a head of a bolt, but a socket that has to fit around it as well. And this is a pretty big diameter pipe, which leads to the issue of having such a large diameter pipe so close to the edge corner of the box because I only have so much room on that end of the frame post to be able to get a bolt through the backside before it disappears inside the frame. Solution is a smaller diameter pipe and the use of an Allen head bolt, which I don't have to worry about a socket that way. This also solves the issue of running the pipe too close to the edge because it's a lot smaller diameter. That way I don't have to worry about having a massive hole here. Uh, this is the side. Does this smell like lemon pledge? Hold on. Angel lemon pledge cake. That's what I used to shower <laughs> instead of soap. <laughs> That's good. Oh geez. Test bolt, sir. A smaller test bolt there. It might fit now, I don't know. Literally just use a drill bit, I guess. There you go, it's drill bit bolted to the front of the car. Okay, right there is good for mine. And then your ear level. That That's a mean looking front thing. Good and tight. It's good and tight. The level is good. That way it doesn't move when we tack it. It looks, I don't know why, that one looks like it's tweaked in, but it's not. I put a level on it. That is dead straight. So, yeah, yeah, I love that. That should be enough that it doesn't go anywhere. So I just laid a little bead right there and right there along with a couple tacks. That way when I pull this thing off, I didn't want just like a couple tacks because I felt like there was a chance it could crack. Okay. Oh, put upside down. Now you're starting to see 
see what it's gonna look like. I thought I could do this all in one video, but this is already three full days of labor. But basically, it's gonna have an X like that still in the center, piece of flat plate, and then I gotta recess all these bolt holes with the pipe. So there's another day at least of labor on this thing. It kind of has the shape of a front mount intercooler almost, like the end plates of it a little bit. But yeah, that thing is overkill. Way, way overkill. That's gonna be sick. And of course, lastly, I gotta make the holes where these are gonna sit because the whole purpose of this thing is to house the front bumper cover. But yeah, I'm getting pretty close to being done on the fabrication. This thing can all get shot in primer once body work's done. And then I'll start on this thing because I know you guys are anxious and you want me to start on this thing. So this will be coming sooner than I originally anticipated. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. And uh, let me, again, let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on the focus. And I'll see you soon with another video. Bye. Oh, they, they're eating it right on the split that you made. Bye-bye.